Are you looking for a better you? Oh no, this guy's a monster! You can eat anything. Today had a bit of a rocky beginning. St head, like, penis, nose, wanna... you face. But we're moving on to an important stage in the training session. It's the alone stage. F you, bitch. The alone time exercise is a very important step of the Mitch Murray process because <laughs> if you can't be alone with yourself, who can you be alone with? You know what, I, I forgot my phone. Go inside. Oh. My God. Scooter. Scooter, Jesus, what happened? Mitch. Uh, dude, I found your medicine cabinet. Th there was nothing in there but mouthwash and Benadryl. This is the end. Oh. Yeah! Banana bombs! Oh my god. Hey! Get out of here! Mitch, how is it? Hey, uh, uh, I don't know, but thanks for coming. I can't believe you would do this. You were with him the whole time, right? Yeah, but why would I leave him? This is the end. Yeah! Well, we're probably gonna be here for a while. Do you wanna, I don't know, grab a cup of coffee? That would be nice. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, sorry, interrupt. I'm looking for a Dr. Mitch Murray. Oh, that's, that is me. Yeah, uh, we got a guy in here who says that you're his, his rehab coach. That is correct, sir. Uh, you do know that this guy is lactose intolerant, right? Uh, yes, I know everything about my patients. Oh, great. Um, and yet you kept him on a diet e exclusively of, of dairy. Oh, that's well. what's called a triumph of the will exercise. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm sorry, but where exactly did you get your doctorate? Well, it's at a small southeastern mid-regional school. Uh-huh. Mid-major. Oh. Wow, yeah, which one? Well, it's not exactly a, a school per se, more of a correspondence program with uh, letter writing. What? what about all those books you wrote? I didn't write any books. I just made up the t-shirts because they look awesome at parties. You do know that uh, impersonating a doctor is a federal offense. Actually, it's impersonating a cop or mailman. Doctor, is Scooter going to be okay? Well, thankfully, yes, you did get him to the hospital on time. Uh, he does have a, an, an acute case of dairy poisoning, and quite frankly, the only Benadryl overdose case I've ever seen in my four m months of being here. Have a good day. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Hello, doctor. It's fine. You're an asshole. So, two creams and sugar? That day was monumental for many reasons. One, it ended my short-lived self-help career. Sarah never spoke to me again. And I saw a homeless guy have sex with a car. But the most important thing I realized about that day, after nearly killing Scooter. Well, technically the doctor did say I was legally dead for three minutes. That which doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Vis-a-vis, -vis, my mission is accomplished. Plus, I got to start an exciting new career where I uh, help people. So we're both doing really, really well. Really great. I mean, awesome. So, um, you really didn't do anything with, with Sarah? No, dude, not even close. Plus, I wouldn't have done that to you. Wait, does a job count?